So this is my character studies book, and this is one I put together more for, less for art and more for, oh, that's kind of what that animal looks like and where the color is going and whatnot. So, painted mouse on the front, of course, because why not? Because it's a linen cover and it just says, paint me. Uh, leave the blank, first place, put my page blank. So here we got mouse. Receiving cheese, climbing the wall, taking a nap on the piano, laughing because he's been singing dirty songs since the piano was... I'm not, not dirty songs, silly songs. Yeah, waving hi. At first I wanted to do all the animals in a running pose, just so I had that kind of general thing, but I think that wore off as the book went on. Uh, Mouse likes to go for walks all the time, so occasionally he has a walking stick. Uh, couple elements that you'll see in a lot of mouse when he's at his own house is he'll have a different carpet in every room and he also keeps some classical or just some traditional art in the background so this is my tiny little version of I think it's called the Huckster by Grant Wood and I tried to match the colors because it's in a kind of a sepia tone so and I'll give it a little description of some of the animals though that also dropped off as the book went on okay so that's mouse Here's his best friend raccoon lounging around, laughing, run you know, again running. Good. And then uh likes to climb up on things a lot. Precarious things. He got his wine from the moon people. And there I I'll actually put some moon people in here later. Here's Rabbit, who's very good at falling down. You can see over here, falling down. And it's always wee, because, you know, if you're falling down, not much else you can do but enjoy it. He's really good with mechanical things. He built rabbits or mouses, uh, piano and whatnot. And then his ear, you'll notice his left ear is always bent over like that. And it's hard to see here, but he's got a little bit of stitching on there. Actually, if you look over here at the falling, we can see a little bit of stitching. And that's because he got his ear chewed off by a dog in a cart uh, little cartoon series I drew way long before I any did any of the mouse, or mouse stuff. So to replace his ear, he took the dog's ear and sewed it onto his own. So that's why his ear drop droops over because it's actually a dog's ear. So now, things you all know who got to see this video. Here's the last friend, Duck. Duck's got one description. He loves pie. The great thing about pie is you can always find random pies all over the big meadow. Don't ask me why. There's just pie. What kind of duck is duck? Duck's a mallard. And I actually only looked up mallards a few weeks ago and realized, oh, I got to do a brown patch on his breast and little blue feathers behind him. And he's always got a fork. I don't, that's one of the few things I ever illustrate with him, but I made sure to put one in this thing because you always have to carry a fork because there might be pie. Good. This is dog. And dog is one of two animals that's actually based on a real animal. And the real animal is Sophie, owned by my friends Mike and Janine. So dog just kind of hangs out with the friends. She doesn't talk at all. She kind of keeps patrol, enjoys their laughs, and she's always with them. And here's Ham, who's a few years older than the mouse cartoons. And Ham's best friend is Eggs. Eggs used to be a race car driver for Team Quick Pickle. In fact, that's how Raccoon met everybody, because this is his friend from the racing days who said, Hey, come to Big Rock. You'll love it here. There's Cat and all of his potatoes. Because that's what he eats when he can't eat animals, and he never eats animals, so he has to eat potatoes. oof -da! Eat some potatoes. Yeah, and everybody out there, this is a fat cat. Don't let your cat get this big. It's not healthy. Unless he eats potatoes, and then film it for me. This is Boss Marmot. He's the chief of the Quick Pickle Racing Team. Boss Marmot is a marmot. 
case you haven't figured it out, I uh, name my animals based on what animal they are. Except ham and eggs. I name them based on what you eat. Ham and eggs are good. They're funny too. Oh, and Boss Marmot has his own, uh, he's got a blue Model, Model A pickup truck. And he calls it Old Blue. And you'll notice I didn't draw any of Boss Marmot running, because if he has to run, he'll just take the truck. So here's Possum. Possum's the uh, marketing rep for Quick Pickle, which is a pickle vending machine company. If you look over here, you can see one of his vending machines that he's so proud of. Mmm, pickles instantly. Quick, quick pickles. Then we got Chipmunk. Chipmunk's just a random crew member for Team Quick Pickle. And I'm pretty... I like the center here where I've got him eating nuts and then he's using nuts. See? Nuts and nuts. Giggle! It's a joke, you see? Wordplay! It's not even a homonym! This is Skunk, kind of on the same level as Chipmunk, just another guy on the team. So, this worked out alright. I just, I was worried about doing the black because black's really hard to do. Okay. So this is where I start the, the tertiary level of characters where they're just, here's some stuff to throw in the background and whatnot. But they, they might get speaking roles. So we got Mole, he's got a top hat. We got Squirrel. Uh, squirrel occasionally will levy a bet with Raccoon. Hey, I bet you can't climb that tree in three seconds. <laughs> I didn't tell him it had a thorns in it. Giggle, giggle. We got Ming, aka Hummingbird. We gotta start drawing more birds since I only have ducks so far. Then we got Goat, who just sits there eating grass. Doing whatever goats do. Oh yeah, then uh, go back to a secondary character. This is Great Uncle Muskrat, as in Great Uncle to Mouse. He's the one who has all these extra carpets in the attic, and he's like, Hey, why don't you take one of these carpets and put it in your house and make it look good, for Pete's sake. So Mouse, that's where Mouse gets his carpets from. And then Great Uncle Muskrat's wife is... Uh, Great Aunt Mink. It's always always baking, always cooking. She takes her tomatoes to the to market. She calls them Roman Roman tomatoes because she just doesn't know better that they're actually Roma tomatoes. And she loves baking cookies. Little bird cookies. When all the animals say, say ask a ask a mouse, hey, why is your great aunt making bird cookies? Mouse will say, Well, cause she was born in the 50s when that kind of thing was okay. So we, then we got Skink, which I'm pretty sure Skinks don't actually look like that. I just kind of did my memory thing and said, eh, I'll give him a wide head because it's cuter. Paint him orange because it's bright. Then Fox. Fox turned out kind of nice. I kind of like that style, a little more rough. And I've seen a lot of foxes around here too. Hedgehog. Hedgehog and uh, Mole hang out together. Hey, come over here! The bar's over here! Let's go, let's go have something to drink! I'm not going to draw too much of Hedgehog because all these spines are kind of a pain. Jack Rabbit, he's out there. You don't usually see him because he's just running from place to place. Actually, we call him Jack for short. Oh, here's an unfinished one. This will be Kitten. This is what they look like. I'll start in pencil. I'll just do some basic line work and then I'll paint them in later once I find some colors I like, which I haven't yet. Here's Pokey, which is my little nickname for a Plains Pocket Mouse. He's about half the size of a mouse. Don't really have a personality for him yet. Oh, that's personality. <laughs> Some more unfinished ones. There's a pigeon. 
This is a Martin, which is a uh, in the oh, what do you call it? Ferret Weasel family. And he's got some specific coloration that I looked up this morning, so I'll probably finish him today. And then we got Vole, the last of the trio. Mole, Vole, and Hedgehog all have their little hats and they go to the bar together. And over here we got Al the Owl. He looks fierce, looks mean, but he's the he's the one that's hey fellas, let's let's go hang out. Wanna play board games? So a little socially awkward. Al the Al, the socially awkward Al. <laughs> and we got Rat. He bowls. He eats leftover pizza whenever he finds it. And yes, there's random pieces of pizza in the big meadow because it's a kind of pie. And over here we got Barney the Barn Swallow. Most of the time just spends his time looking for mosquitoes and then the, the rest of his time he's down at the bar with Mulvall and Hedgehog. Tell him of his, ex of his exploits. I ate five mosquitoes today. That makes me an ace. Then we got Egret. Who's mostly wing. More wing than bird. This one's unfinished. This is going to be woodchuck. I don't know if you can see the pencil lines, but I've already got them. Got him got a, revving up a chainsaw, doing a hammer, he's got a nail gun. Here he's just standing there in his bib overalls. Get it? Because he's a woodchuck. So, since the platypus is many different animals, I decided I'm not going to name him an animal. I'll give him a regular name. So this is James Attenborough. And when all the animals refer to him, they don't shorten his name to James or Jim. They call him James Attenborough. He's underwater. Yep, right here he is. And then we got Snail. He's a snail. Oh, do you want to look more snail? Yeah, that's good. He's a snail. We're good. Snail. Here's Shrew, who's not done. We got Wolverine, who's, who's a... Instead of being fierce like Wolverine, he loves everybody and brings everybody flowers. Dog 2 is another dog, and actually both animals that are after, uh, modeled after actual animals are dogs. And I just call him Dog 2 because he's a dog too. But you can't call him Dog because I already have a dog. Then Turtle decided on the last second I was going to make Turtle a uh, snapping turtle because I actually saw one in the wild a couple weeks ago and I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. And then we got Zack Coon who was actually commissioned by a guy who sculpts some stuff for me. And he uh, has a little boy, wanted me to draw a mouse cartoon. Actually, okay, so this is one, I guess, one example where someone requested a mouse cartoon and I said, sure, and for pay. And he wanted me to do his son into the mouse cartoon. So I put a little black mask on him, tied a little fake tail, and called him Zack Coon because the little boy's name is Zack. And... He's, rac he's Raccoon's cousin from Cincinnati. So, uh, he's like the Christopher Robin of my little big meadow. Uh, this rooster. He doesn't do cock a doodle doo. He does wakey wakey eggs and bakey. Or, you know, you can just ask him, hey, what time is it? And he looks at his watch. He's like, oh, it's like 7.23. And that's it. And then I've got my little sketch for the moon people that I'm working on.